uh, Mr. Johnson of Georgia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this hearing and uh, welcome to the Judiciary Committee Secretary Mar Mariocas. Um, you know, I find it uh, ironic that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle want to concentrate on uh, the southern border while completely mischaracterizing and ignoring uh, what's happening in the interior of our country about right wing extremists propelled by the uh, false rhetoric of the ex-president Donald Trump. Uh, uh, Secretary Mayorkas, uh, a, uh, a June 2021 Brenner Center report detailed the uh, onslaught of threats against election workers continuing to this day. According to the survey described in the report, one in three local election officials are concerned about facing harassment or pressure while on the job and one in six local election officials have been threatened uh, because of their job. In my own congressional district, election workers from local volunteers to senior administrators endured threats of violence after the 2020 election, threats of hanging, firing squads, torture, and bomb blasts. Mr. Secretary, the department issued a February 2022 bulletin warning that in upcoming elections, we should expect calls for violence to be directed at democratic institutions, political candidates, party offices, election events, and election workers. Isn't that correct? Uh, yes, it is, Congressman. And the uh, and, and the do you security, stand by that bulletin? The, the security of the election uh, system is a core responsibility of the United States government. And we are extraordinarily proud in the department to play a leading role uh, in advancing the security of the elections. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Secretary. As we speak, it's accurate to say that Americans are being radicalized in preparation for the upcoming 22, 2022 elections. Isn't that correct? Um, uh, Congressman, um, uh, we are seeing a And my time uh, a is rise. quite limited. We are seeing a rise in misinformation and disinformation uh, that is um, uh, attempting to strike at the integrity of the election system and people's uh, right to vote. And we're seeing on social media posts calling election officials corrupt and calling for violence against candidates and election officials. Isn't that correct? Uh, that is, Congressman, which is exactly why I addressed the secretaries of state throughout this country a few weeks ago uh, to speak with them about the efforts that we are making uh, to provide them with physical security, the resources and information they need to ensure uh, the safety of the electoral system over which they preside. And Mr. Secretary, uh, mimicking false claims of ex-President Trump, we continue to see social media posts claiming, quote, if our election systems continue to be rigged and continue to be stolen, then it's gonna lead to one place and it's bloodshed, correct? Uh, Congressman, we're very well of the spread of false narratives that um, have as one of their goals um, an effort to radicalize individuals to violence. And, and as I understand online uh, radicalization and how it works, Mr. Secretary, is it fair to say that believers of such disinformation uh, could become lone wolves and take it upon themselves to act on these calls for violence against election workers. That is a potential that we are uh, guarding against material materializing, Congressman. That is why uh, we have so many different efforts underway to equip local communities uh, to identify individuals who very well could be descending into violence uh, by reason of ideologies of hate, false narratives, or, or other um, disinformation and misinformation propagated on social media and other platforms. Well, I'm glad to know that the department is um, in touch with election officials to um, provide them with information about security, 
personal security as well as election uh, apparatus security so as to protect the integrity of our upcoming elections. And thank you so much for your work. And with that, I yield back. Gentlemen, you